because we are grant funded through DOJ, all our services are free. Um, if travel was available, we would be, like I said, knocking on your door. We would ask you, you know, are you, do you have time to listen to us? Do you have time to hear a little bit about our resources and the connections that we're making? Um, and we don't charge you anything. We pay for uh, our travel, we pay for our own meals, we pay for our own lodging. All that we asked at that time when we were traveling was that you provide us space to, to bring this knowledge to the community. I mean, it's not just for law enforcement or fire or emergency management. Those are key stakeholders, but we want to talk to the community members as well, the grandparents, the children, you know, tribal council. We want everybody to be on the same page because what we really feel works is a community response. You know, we, we need community members or we're asking community members to um, work with the law enforcement. Uh, we want, uh, I believe it's Jeannie had a question early on or the issue was not a lot of us know the criteria for the states. And this is what we want to encourage. This is what we want to educate the, the tribal community on. What are the criteria for their for your state for an Amber Alert? But not so much the Amber Alert specifically and only, but all the alerts available to your, to your community. Um, we want everybody to know that. 